rating, plus 149 plus X. A building overrun by SCP-1100 infected plants. Item hash, SCP-1100. Object class, safe Euclid Ketter. Special, containment procedures, amended, revised, 200. A single sample of SCP-1100 is stored in a triple-redundant hermetically sealed container, which is to be stored in an evacuated, reinforced containment chamber at site. The container must be checked daily for deterioration. If necessary, the sample must be transferred to a new container via Procedure 1100-233-J to prevent any possible vaporization. All direct experimentation on SCP-1100 has been suspended pending further investigation. In the case of wild outbreaks of SCP-1100, mass deployment of defoliants and desiccants must be enacted within a 1 km radius from all infected areas, and a 12-month quarantine established to monitor for additional outbreaks. The use of nuclear or chemical weapons to establish a public diversion may be authorized by at least 3. 3. Level 4 Personnel Archived Special Containment Procedures Amended Revised 199 Close Special Containment Procedures Amended Revised 199 Samples of SCP-1100 have been moved to the high-risk secure biohazardous material stored at Biocontainment Site 26 following the loss of Biocontainment Site 33. Experimentation on SCP-1100 may only be performed with prior approval from at least 2. 2. Level 3 personnel and must observe all Level 4 biohazardous materials handling guidelines. In the case of wild outbreaks of SCP-1100, mass deployment of defoliants and desiccants must be enacted within a 200-meter radius from all infected specimens, and a six-month quarantine established to monitor for additional outbreaks. Close. Archived. Special Containment Procedures. Close. Special Containment Procedures. Samples of SCP-1100 are kept within secure biohazardous material storage at Biocontainment Site 33. Experimentation on SCP-1100 may only be performed with prior approval from at least 1. 1. Level 3 personnel, and must observe all Level 3 biohazardous materials handling guidelines. In the case of wild outbreaks of SCP-1100, Mass deployment of defoliants and desiccants must be enacted within a 50-meter radius from all infected specimens, and a one-month quarantine established to monitor for additional outbreaks. Close. Description. Amended. Revised. 200. SCP-1100 is a highly dangerous complex organic substance that causes anomalous transformations in natural plant and animal life. Despite being composed primarily of heavy proteins and redacted, SCP-1100 will spontaneously vaporize into aerosol form, and can also be transmitted by direct contact with infected subjects, pollen, dander, and other excretions. Infected plant and animal subjects will transform over the course of 24 hours, which includes but is not limited to Plants with bulbous sections or large fruit undergo exotic chemical transformations and become filled with explosive or caustic substances that burst violently from the affected section when disturbed by humans. Plants with long tendrils or vines gain muscle-like internal structures that allow them to grasp and crush living human prey. Plants with thorns or needles harden to the point of being able to cause serious bodily injury and in some cases, become coated in substances that are highly toxic to human physiology. Plants that are generally used as human food sources become hardened or otherwise change composition to be inedible, indigestible, or otherwise dangerous for human consumption. Animals normally considered docile prey animals become increasingly strong and aggressive and will attempt to harm human subjects with no regard for personal safety. Animals that are natural predators will prioritize human targets as prey, 
ignoring easier targets. Animals that are domesticated livestock undergo physiological changes that render their flesh impossible to digest, or even lethally poisonous when consumed by humans. Animals that are household pets become feral and hostile to human handlers, oftentimes increasing in size and strength sufficient to cause bodily harm. SCP-1100 has become increasingly dangerous to contain, and its effects have increased in magnitude since its initial containment in 1989. No conclusive source has yet been determined for SCP-1100, nor is it known how or why it specifically targets human subjects. Current speculation points to a radical environmentalist group with access to foundation-grade resources and technology. As such, worldwide foundation assets have been directed to monitor radical environmentalist groups for possible evidence that may lead us to the discovery of SCP-1100's manufacturer. All experimentation on SCP-1100 has been halted due to the extreme danger and SCP-1100's continual adaptation, archived, description, amended, revised 199. Close. Description. Amended. Revised. 199. SCP-1100 is a complex organic substance that causes anomalous transformations in natural plant life. Despite being composed primarily of heavy proteins and redacted, SCP-1100 is easily transmitted between plants via pollen, seeds, and other airborne elements and can spontaneously vaporize into aerosol form. When affected by SCP-1100, plants will undergo a series of transformations related to its natural physical attributes over approximately 48 hours. Plants with bulbous sections or large fruit undergo exotic chemical transformations and become filled with explosive or caustic substances that burst violently from the affected section when disturbed by humans. Plants with long tendrils or vines gain muscle-like internal structures that allow them to grasp and crush living human prey. Plants with thorns or needles harden to the point of being able to cause serious bodily injury and, in some cases, become coated in substances that are highly toxic to human physiology. Plants that are generally used as human food sources become hardened or otherwise change composition to be inedible, indigestible, or otherwise dangerous for human consumption. SCP-1100 has become increasingly dangerous to contain, and its effects have increased in magnitude since its initial containment in 1989. No conclusive source has yet been determined for SCP-1100, nor is it known how or why it specifically targets human subjects. Current speculation points to a radical environmentalist group with access to foundation-grade resources and technology. As such, worldwide foundation assets have been directed to monitor radical environmentalist groups for possible evidence that may lead us to the discovery of SCP-1100's manufacturer. Additional funding for the SCP-1100 study and research has been approved by O5 Command. Addendum 11-17. Incident Report. Loss of Bio-Containment Site 26. On. 200. Redacted by O5 Command. Casualties reached 96% of site personnel by 0647 hours. At 0648. BCS-26 is on-site nuclear warhead was detonated, stopping the infection but resulting in a total loss of BCS-26 and all site personnel. Close. Archived. Description. Close. Description. SCP-1100 is a complex organic substance that causes anomalous transformations in natural plant life. Despite being composed primarily of heavy proteins and redacted, SCP-1100 is easily transmitted between plants via pollen, seeds, and other airborne elements, and over the course of 72 hours causes plants to become increasingly dangerous to human life. The effects of SCP-1100 include, but are not limited to, 
alterations to the appearance of edible plants that renders them repulsive to human observers. The growth of hardened thorns and toughened structures in edible plants, rendering them inedible or indigestible to humans. The internal manufacture of substances that cause nausea, pain, or severe internal injury to humans. SCP-1100 was first encountered following the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill, contaminating plants near human settlements near the affected region. It is currently unknown how SCP-1100 is able to specifically target humans with these adaptations, nor is it known what organization is responsible for the manufacture of SCP-1100. Research and additional funding have been allocated to investigate the source of SCP-1100. Addendum 1100-208. Incident Report. Loss of Biocontainment Site 33. During routine experimentation, a large amount of SCP-1100 spontaneously vaporized and infected the entire plant crop grown at Biocontainment Site 33. The subsequent incident resulted in the complete loss of BCS-33 and casualties among 70% of site personnel before the breach was contained. BCS-33 has been decommissioned, and all remaining samples of SCP-1100 have been moved to Biocontainment Site-26. Close. Classified Level 4 by Order of O5 Command, Eyes Only. Addendum 1100-2023. Incident, Log Addendum Re, Loss of Biocontainment Site 26. From fragments of damaged surveillance video recovered from the remains of Biocontainment Site 26, it has been determined that the incident resulting in the total loss of BCS 26 was instigated by DRS, and the video evidence shows that on 200-0631L, Dr. Disarmed and shot the armed guard posted at SCP-1100 containment, after which doctor proceeded to breach containment and removed the sample. Access logs recovered from BCS-26 as environmental systems then reported a breach in the primary service hub at 0637L, at which point SCP-1100 was presumably introduced into the entire site's air and water supply. Investigation has turned up evidence of environmentalist organization membership for both Drive and Doctor. All personnel at set are being screened immediately as well. Addendum 1100-2024. Diary entry recovered from the home of Doctor. 200. Got a chance to talk with again today. He agrees with me now that there is no other explanation that fits. When you have eliminated all impossibilities then whatever is left has to be the truth. No matter how insane it is. SCP-1100 isn't an engineered substance. It's not some bunch of hippies getting their sick revenge on civilization. It's a planetary immune response. It's Gaia, Mother Earth, fighting back against us. The more we try to fight it, the worse it gets. She wants us all dead. Once is gone because of what we've done to her. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. The only thing we can do is to take responsibility for our sins and accept our punishment. Tomorrow, we're initiating the plan.